Hey, so for this exercise is going to be the brachialis or um, also known as hammer curls. Uh, for this exercise, it's going to be indicated for the strengthening phase of rehab. Um, the prescription of this exercise is dependent on where the athlete or patient is at this point in time. Usually I start out uh, strengthening exercises with three sets of eight reps, just as a general, or three sets of six to eight reps, just in that general strengthening phase for um, uh, rep ranges, but this can also be changed depending on the needs of the athlete or the patient. Um, for progression of this exercise, it can be either done by going uh, to increase the weight of the athlete as the athlete or patient is able to um, meet the parameters that have been set and it's uh, becoming an easier exercise and you can increase the weight. You can also um, change the variation of the exercise as well. This is just a different kind of um, bicep curl as there are many different ways to do one. It, this one is just targeting more of your brachialis uh, and brachioradialis along with the bicep. Um, all of those three muscles are being targeted with this. Uh, just to, the different grips are just isolating one of those muscles more than the other. So you can go to a standard bicep curl or you can go to one that's called a zodeman curl. Um, each one of those exercise is just targeting a different um, or isolating more isolating a, a muscle while also still utilizing the other ones as well progression of this exercise would be if the athlete or the patient is experiencing any pain with this movement or if they're experiencing any symptoms that are um, being irritated that they are being seen for um, discontinuing or progressing this exercise kind of goes along with what I had just said. Discontinuing this exercise would go along with regression, where if the athlete or patient is experiencing any pain or discomfort with the movement, or if any symptoms are being irritated with this, it, may, it might be wise to uh, decrease the weight or go to a different variation that causes less stress on the system that would decrease or uh, mitigate the symptoms that would be experienced during this movement. And then for progression, it would be moving into one of the uh, different uh, variations of this exercise or increasing the weight, or you could honestly go in, go ahead and increase the rep range as well. So for this exercise, it's going to be important to instruct the athlete on, or patient on how to complete this exercise. Uh, for this, it's always going to be important to emphasize shoulder stability. So you're wanting to instruct that athlete to really pull their shoulders down and back to increase that shoulder stability. Uh, for the grip for this exercise, uh, you're going to have the wrist in a neutral position. You can either instruct the athlete or patient to use their thumb to assist in the grip, or you can instruct them not to use their thumb, uh, which puts more of a challenge on the uh, athlete or patient's grip, which could also be used for a progression of this exercise as well, just depending on where they're at. Uh, this would get harder as the weight goes up, but it's just going to be important to describe uh, how you want that grip to be done. And then you're going to instruct the patient to just complete a regular bicep curl. So here's just an example of that.